Welcome to your daily source for the most recent deaths in the national news from America and beyond. We honor the vibrant lives and legacies of celebrities who've recently taken their final bows. We delve deeper than just the news, celebrating their impact on our world. Jackie O, born Jacqueline Smith, a star of Wild and Out and a noted entrepreneur, tragically passed away on June 2, 2023, in Miami at the young age of 32. Known for her vibrant presence on the show for five seasons, Jackie O was not only a shining light on screen, but also in the lives of her three children, Nova, Nala, and Prince, to whom she was a dedicated mother. Beyond her role in the entertainment industry, she made significant strides in business, launching her own lip gloss line and venturing into the real estate market after her time on Wild and Out. Her tireless dedication to both her work and family was evident when she poignantly declared on Instagram, I do a lot, but being a mommy is my favorite. Jackie O's untimely death has left a profound void in the Wild and Out family and beyond, and her legacy will be treasured by all who knew her. Pacho El Antifeca, an influential Puerto Rican rapper celebrated for his collaborations with major artists such as Daddy Yankee, Bad Bunny, and Nicky Jam, tragically lost his life at the age of 42 on June 1, 2023. Born Neftali Alvarez Nunez, he was found fatally shot in Bayamón, Puerto Rico, leaving the music world in deep shock. Pacho's career spanned nearly two decades, during which he produced several hit songs including Como Soy, Pa Morir Senache, Tu No Eras Asi, Triste, and No Te Veo, which left an indelible impact on the reggaeton scene. Known for his heartfelt music and authenticity, Pacho was signed to the indie urban label Duars Entertainment. The news of his untimely death sparked an outpouring of emotional responses from peers and fans alike, as they remembered his remarkable influence on the world of reggaeton. Pacho's legacy lives on through his music, which will continue to touch the hearts of many around the globe. Acclaimed actor Sergio Calderon, renowned for his notable roles in popular films such as Pirates of the Caribbean, At World's End, and Men in Black, sadly passed away surrounded by his family on May 31, 2023. He was 77 years old. With a career spanning an impressive six decades, Calderon demonstrated remarkable versatility and talent in both film and television. He breathed life into the character of Captain Eduardo Villanueva in At World's End, earning recognition and admiration. Calderon's portrayal of Jose in Men in Black left an indelible imprint on the audience's memory. More recently, he appeared in The Ruins, Little Fockers, and the FX series Better Things. His enduring career allowed him to work with esteemed directors such as Gore Verbinski, Barry Sonnenfeld, Sergio Leone, and John Huston, making him a well-recognized face in Hollywood. Calderon's life and work have undoubtedly left an indelible mark on the film and television industry, and his legacy will continue to inspire future generations. Acclaimed Finnish composer Kaija Sariaho passed away on June 2, 2023, at the age of 70 due to complications from brain cancer. Over her remarkable career, Sariaho distinguished herself through a unique approach to composition that intertwined elements of light, color, and even smell into the texture of her music. A pioneer in overcoming gender bias, she broke barriers in the world of opera. Her opera, L'Amour de Luan, was the second by a female composer, and the first in over a century to be staged at New York's Metropolitan Opera. She earned numerous prestigious awards, including the Grawmeyer Award, the Nemers, Sonning and Polar Music Prizes, and the Frontiers of Knowledge Award for Music. In 2019, she was voted the greatest living composer by a BBC Music Magazine panel. Sariaho's pioneering spirit and sonic explorations have left an indelible mark on the world of contemporary music, setting an inspiring example for future generations of composers. Philippe Pozzo di Borgo, the French entrepreneur and aristocrat whose inspiring life served as the narrative for the film Almost Friends, passed away at the age of 72 on June 1st. Pozzo di Borgo's compelling story of resilience and mutual support, which reached international audiences through Olivier Nakachi and Eric Toledano's film, has left a lasting impact on people worldwide. His life changed after a paragliding accident in 1993 that left him quadriplegic. Despite grappling with personal adversity, including the death of his wife and his physical challenges, he demonstrated extraordinary strength of character. His life found profound expression in his book, 
The Guardian Devil, which provided a poignant depiction of his life post-accident. His deep friendship with Abdel Salou, an Algerian immigrant and former prisoner who became his caregiver, is a heartwarming narrative of resilience and mutual support. Pozzo di Borgo's legacy of resilience in the face of adversity continues to inspire people globally. Jacques Rosier, an influential French filmmaker and a prominent figure of the New Wave movement, sadly passed away at the age of 96 on the night of June 1, 2, 2023. Rosier, a pioneer and a driving force for individualistic and iconoclastic expression in cinema, belonged to the illustrious circle of New Wave filmmakers. His work, including the 1962 film Farewell Filipina, set against the backdrop of the Algerian War and Main Ocean, which won the Jean Vigo Prize in 1986, has left a significant impact on French cinema. He was recognized with the René Clair Prize in 1997 and the Carros d'Or in 2002 at Cannes. His independent filmmaking spirit, his ability to depict the present moment, and his contributions to French cinema have made a profound and lasting impact on the New Wave movement. Despite directing only a handful of films over half a century, Rosier's influence remains significant and will continue to inspire filmmakers worldwide. Pierre Godot, an admired figure in the world of French cycling, passed away on May 29, 2023, at the age of 95. His robust career was epitomized by his participation in the 1952 Tour de France, demonstrating not just his remarkable physical endurance, but also his unwavering dedication to the sport. This contribution to French cycling is particularly notable given the arduous nature of the 1952 Tour de France, a race that spanned 21 stages and covered a demanding 4,898 kilometers. Despite the absence of a detailed record of his career milestones, Godot's legacy is cemented by his engagement in such a globally respected event, reinforcing his mark on post-war era French sports history. With his passing, we not only lose an individual who embodied the tenacity of professional cycling, but also a figure who symbolizes an era of French sporting achievement. His enduring legacy continues to inspire, reminding us of the spirit of determination and dedication that marked his life and career. Tato Oswald, a significant figure in Norwegian broadcasting, passed away on June 3, 2023, at the age of 81. His career at the Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation, NRK, spanning from 1965 to 2006, was marked by his distinctive humor and creativity, making a significant impact on the broadcasting landscape of Norway. In addition to his role as an entertainer, Oswald also shaped the NRK's programming as a program editor from 1986 to 1990, demonstrating his ability to influence beyond his on-air persona. A notable testament to his comedic genius was his 1973 Spellemann Prison win, the Norwegian equivalent of the Grammy Awards, alongside Bjorn Sand for their album Studem Speaking. Through his collaboration with Studem and Harold Heide Steen Jr., Oswald brought laughter and joy into numerous homes. His passing marks a considerable loss in the Norwegian broadcasting sphere, but his legacy lives on, enshrined in his vast body of work and the countless smiles he brought about during his illustrious career. Arturo Gravalos, a promising young talent in the world of professional cycling, passed away on May 19, 2023, at the age of 25, after battling a brain tumor that was diagnosed in 2021. Despite his brief career, Gravalos made a significant impact on the sport, starting his professional career in 2021, the same year he was diagnosed with his illness. He became an inspiring figure in the cycling community, demonstrating his vivacious will to live and competitive spirit both on and off the racetrack. His memorable performance in the Giro del Medio Brenta of 2021 stood as a testament to his audacious accelerations and relentless spirit, making a mark not only on his rivals, but also on the sport he so deeply loved. Despite his illness, Gravalos maintained an unyielding optimism and determination, leaving a lasting impact on professional cycling and setting an inspiring example of courage and positivity in the face of adversity. His legacy, characterized by his large-heartedness and infectious enthusiasm, continues to inspire future generations of cyclists. Hans-Peter Feldman, a German conceptual artist famed for his inventive and playful approach to art, passed away at 82 on May 30, 2023. 
Notably, Feldman transformed ordinary images into thought-provoking pieces, captivating European audiences and leaving an indelible mark on contemporary art. His signature artistic feat involved pinning 100,000 $1 bills to the Guggenheim Museum's walls, a subversive installation that amplified his reputation for innovation. Critics aligned his work with 1960s German pop art and considered his pieces forerunners to appropriation art, a testament to his influential role in shaping the artistic landscape. Feldman's death signals a significant loss for the global art community, yet his legacy of challenging perceptions and pushing boundaries endures through his body of work. His art continues to inspire new generations of artists, reinforcing his enduring impact on contemporary art. Feldman's unique artistic vision will be remembered for its ability to turn the mundane into the extraordinary, forever altering the way we perceive everyday images. Roy Taylor, a cherished frontman of Jump the Gun and a stalwart advocate against motor neuron disease, MND, sadly passed away on June 1, 2023, at the age of 66. His courageous battle against MND was a testament to his spirit of resilience. Born in Dublin, Taylor carved out a memorable career in the music industry, first capturing hearts in the 1988 Eurovision with his band Jump the Gun. He was also a prominent figure in the local Dundalk music scene with his band The Absolutely's. Following his MND diagnosis in 2018, Taylor exhibited unparalleled courage, channeling his energy towards raising awareness and much-needed funds for MND research through his charity Mind Your Back MND. His commitment to this cause shown through his music releases, including his successful fundraising singles My New Dream and I Can't Wait for Tomorrow. Beyond his work, Taylor served as an ambassador for the Irish Motor Neuron Disease Association's Drink Team for MND campaign. His enduring legacy is one of unwavering positivity, dogged determination, and a profound love for music. His impactful work in fighting MND left an indelible mark on his loved ones and the wider community. As we remember him, we celebrate not just the phenomenal musician, but also the inspiring figure he was. A sorrowful chapter unfolded in the annals of one. FC Nuremberg's history with the passing of Karl Heinz Charlie Ferschel on May 30, 2023. Ferschel, age 78, was a stalwart of the club. He was instrumental in securing the club's ninth and most recent championship title in 1968. Ferschel's bond with FCN started when he joined them at the tender age of 14, making his debut for the first team in 1963. His connection with the club extended beyond the football field as he later transitioned to a defensive all-rounder and contributed four goals in the 1968 championship season. After playing over 200 games for Nuremberg, Ferschel moved to Hertha Berlin briefly before returning to his hometown, where he ran a lottery business. His departure leaves a void in the one. FC Nuremberg community, but his legacy as a club legend will forever be remembered and cherished. Barry Newman, the celebrated actor known for his unforgettable role in the cult classic Vanishing Point and his portrayal of defense attorney Anthony Petrocelli in the series of the same name. His wife, Angela, confirmed today that Newman passed away on May 11th at the age of 92 from natural causes at New York Presbyterian Columbia University Irving Medical Center. Born on November 7, 1930, Newman made a significant impact in the entertainment industry with his diverse and accomplished career. His role as Kowalski in Vanishing Point solidified his legacy, showcasing his talent and providing audiences with an adrenaline-fueled experience. In the NBC series Petrocelli, Newman captivated viewers with his portrayal of the maverick defense attorney, earning widespread acclaim. Barry Newman's contributions, versatility, and unforgettable performances will be remembered, leaving behind a lasting legacy in the industry. Thank you for watching. If you find this tribute meaningful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. We would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below about who inspires you the most. Stay tuned for our next tribute, where we'll be honoring the life and legacy of another amazing individual.